hope this guy says hello. I want to kill myself. Are you okay, sweetie? I just feel like someone reached down my throat, grabbed my small intestine, pulled it out of my mouth, and tied it around my neck. Cookie? <laughs> Carol moved her stuff out today. Oh. Let me get you some coffee. Thanks. Ooh. Oh. No, oh, no, no, don't. Stop cleansing my aura. <laughs> Don't just leave my aura alone, okay? I'll be fine, all right? Really, everyone, I hope she'll be very happy. No, you don't. No, I don't. To hell with her, she left me. And you never knew she was a lesbian. <laughs> no, okay? Why does everyone keep fixating on that? <laughs> she didn't know. How should I know? <laughs> Sometimes I wish I was a lesbian. Did I say that out loud? <laughs> All right, Ross, look. You're feeling a lot of pain right now. You're angry. You're hurting. Can I tell you what the answer is? Strip joints! <laughs> You're single. Have some hormones. See, but I don't want to be single, okay? I just, I just, I just want to be married again. <laughs> and I just want a million dollars. Rachel? Oh, God, Monica, hi. Thank God. I just went to your building and you weren't there, and then this guy with a big hammer said that you might be here, and you are, you are. Can I get you some coffee? Decaf. <laughs> okay, everybody, this is Rachel, another Lincoln High survivor. This, this is everybody. This is Chandler and, and Phoebe and Joey. And you remember my brother, Ross? Sure. Hey. Hi. <laughs> so you want to tell us now, or are we waiting for four wet bridesmaids? <laughs> oh, God. Well... It started about a half hour before the wedding. I was in this room where we were keeping all the presents, and I was looking at this gravy boat, this really gorgeous Limoges gravy boat, when all of a sudden, sweet and low, I realized... I realized that I was more turned on by this gravy boat than by Barry. And then I got really freaked out, and that's when it hit me how much Barry looks like Mr. Potato Head. You know, I mean, I always knew he looked familiar, but... Anyway, I just had to get out of there, and I started wondering, why am I doing this, and who am I doing this for? So, anyway, I just didn't know where to go, and I know that you and I have kind of drifted apart, but you're the only person I knew who lived here in the city. Who wasn't invited to the wedding. Oh, I was kind of hoping that wouldn't be an issue. <laughs>